Well, good morning everybody, and welcome to another Cities with John episode. I am thrilled to have you along for the ride on this beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be mine? That Mr. Rogers. Thanks, Mr. Rogers. Uh, well, today we are starting a new series, so much to the request of my good friend Jeremiah Black. He recommended a beach series a couple of videos, like, videos ago, and today we're starting a beach series, and this area here that I have a sunken rail line through, um, an area that took me a long time to get right uh, with the retaining walls and, and all that stuff, it took me a while to get uh, that area together, and now I'm going to destroy it demolish the whole thing. That's kind of how this game goes as you repurpose areas a little bit. And uh, what I'm doing here and the idea that I had is instead of starting with the beach itself and, and all the things that are going to come along with that and detailing of that, I thought I would start with a big part of this which would be a passenger train line. And um, I've had this sunken station uh, downloaded for a little while and decided to use it and uh, it is a tremendous asset looks great lots of detail and the rail is actually in the middle of the building underneath the ground uh, or not underneath the ground but um, submerged quite a bit and so what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of trying to make room for it and try to figure out exactly because most of the passenger or all the train stations really on the game whether it be passenger or cargo or whatever the train line the rail line is positioned outside of the um, terminal so with this one it actually goes right through the building and I uh, you know haven't haven't used this one like I said so I it took me a second to kind of figure out exactly how it was going to work it doesn't help that this area with the road on the left which has its own nodes the road on the right has its own nodes the building is one big node I guess you could say uh, there was lots of terrain issues um, with this and as you can see there that flat rock just kinda looks a little strange and um, so what I come to realize is it's it's going to be a tough tough episode here for uh, John so um, now this area here is kind of a cove and it's um, I think it's gonna look really great when it's all said and done but like I was saying earlier there's been a couple times where I've started with smaller things and kind of worked my way up and gone oh I need a uh, any a train station through here especially on the first map I ever did the one that I uh, lost due to my own stupidity uh, hard drive issues lost my map it was sad I would put in 350 350 hours on it I think on that map and it's gone and uh, it's a great feeling oh anyway um, so just kind of trying to uh, make this work and make the positioning work and the terrain heights and everything combined and then I realized we have a uh, we have somebody floating here we have a lot of people floating oh they decided to go down ah! oh, yeah um, <laughs> so those are all the people that were previously walking along the road there and just hilariously decided to all just continue on about their way. They're probably like, w what just happened? Wasn't there a road here with, with houses? And Wait a minute, I lived here. Now there's a train station? Um, so, lots of train adjusting, lots of building adjusting, using Move It, trying to get this thing to look the way it's supposed to look. And, and the staircase is there on the right and you'll see this pretty soon um, are they don't cooperate much with me and it's kind of tough to get them to work out and then ultimately what I decided is 
this just wasn't going to be the right position. I thought it, it looked too tight to the road that's kind of above it there. And uh, I just felt like it, it uh, just wasn't going to cooperate more or less. And well, more on that later. So here what I'm doing is uh, trying to take out the sand. Um, the sand sometimes is a little finagly won't go away like right here between the houses it just won't go away for some reason but uh, it doesn't really matter because those houses are going to be demolished in no time well I don't know. maybe I won't demolish those I might keep them for now I really do like those houses I think they look like great beach houses and I'm gonna probably work them into this uh, in a different way um, than I did on uh, this video but uh, but again you can see there are big massive slopes and big changes but ultimately all that uh, went away so uh, kind of a jump cut there and I apologize but ended up getting the position corrected and what I had to do is basically just move it a good uh, well probably about the length of the entire building I just moved it to the right and then just reconnected it and it was all fixed up so here's the part that of course is always the most fun and I think more entertaining than you watching me uh, move a building around and try to get terrain heights right the time period it took to get this place to get the train station where I wanted it exactly and everything looking right as far as the train uh, probably two hours so I wasn't going to include that in the video but it took about two hours to get all that looking right so here what I'm doing is trying to make a very fancy looking sidewalk um, and using the invisible sidewalk, the actual invisible sidewalk, people will use this and it will connect to the train station. But, um, excuse me, um, there is not um, a way, and I've come to find out, to get those staircases to work exactly and that's why I put those curbs along there that's just kind of hiding the staircase uh, because the staircase is not first of all people are not going to use it um, because they're, they're just going to go through where the turnstile things are there um, but I just ended up using that curb just to hide it <clears throat> and uh, you know, I do that a lot I hide a lot uh, on this game but that's okay nobody will ever know you can do the same at home um, so here I'm just trying to give this area just a, a wall around the sidewalk just to kinda give it a crisp look and you know we have a train station over here that is sunken under the ground rather dangerous spot and I didn't want people to be just heading over that direction um, and so that's kind of the point of this and at first I decided to use this brick wall that's props and you can use props to make walls but it is quite a pain in the butt when you do it um, for one thing the props do not always align right and you have to move them around over and over again and I decided just to not mess with that and use a net structure wall uh, which is basically just continuing the wall that is already formed here that he used as a retaining wall. Uh, first I have to figure out exactly which one it is. Um, but uh, using the network, uh, or excuse me, the net structure, it saves you from having to use props. And there is actually a prop limit on the game uh, I've heard about. I just don't know what it is. I don't even know how to know if it's close to that limit I wouldn't think it is because I mean I haven't even used I mean this is I've probably used about a little bit over half of the map as far as space to build like easy space to build so I mean I would think I still got a ways to go but anyway what I was saying the net structure way easier as you can see I just move it almost like a, a road or something and then that way and it just all stays together it kind of forms to 
the landscape and um, it's just way easier to use. <clears throat> so using this uh, using this type of wall, like I said, easier to use um, and you can adjust the heights but it just kind of forms together. It makes a makes it a heck of a lot easier. So but ultimately I you know I want people to be able to access the beach. Um, and here's kind of what I was saying uh, with the stairs a little bit. The stairs are rather they're just not cooperating, and you can see the grass kind of poking through there. So I tried to use the brick stone, the uh, brick decals all the way up, but that didn't really work. So anyway, moving on. I think it looks okay, and you barely notice it once you, um, you know, get the whole thing kind of put together. Um, but anyway, back to what I was saying. I wanted a train station over here because I am starting to kind of put some passenger train stations together. And so far, my rails have been used just for cargo. And one thing on my first map that I noticed is whenever we, um, when I started combining a lot of cargo trains and passenger trains in the same map and had a lot of them going, it caused some incredible congestion uh, on the rail railways. And um, so I am a little, I was a little hesitant at first to be putting in passenger uh, passenger train stations, but the thing is, is if you don't, you don't get people from out of town, um, and you're not going to make money uh, from tourists from out of town. Now, of course, I have an unlimited money, and I'm not playing this game in that fashion anyway, but um, I didn't want to not include in the game. Plus passengers take it from one location to the other so people that live over here can now take the train over to the industrial area or take the train to the other side of this uh, island uh, this is not the same island as the industrial area the industrial area that was part of my oil and forestry video um, is on a separate part of the map so it's not even close to this and this will hopefully give everybody a, a way to get over there and a way to ride the train. So we already have some trains coming through, which is awesome. And we also, I, I kind of put together this uh, uh, gazebo type thing, a uh, little dome piece, if you will. And uh, here I'm just kind of doing some detail. This will allow people to just kind of hang out outside of the train station as they uh, wait on somebody or something of that nature. also continued on the curb network, added some more trees, and I think that turned out really well. Gave it a uh, real cool look, I think. Um, and here I'm just detailing, adding some vegetation around those decals. Got so many tables on here, it's ridiculous. This is part of the uh, People Generator series. So the idea is these tables, this uh, Park People Generator, are supposed to actually generate people to come to them. And I think I've got them positioned a little too far from the actual road. They can be off of the road, but maybe not too far. And I think I've got them a bit too far. But anyway, um, all that being said, I've used it before and I don't know if it actually works or if it does work and it just doesn't work the same way. Usually when I do it, I only get about three or four people showing up around it. And I was expecting a large crowd, but maybe that's just because people don't like my city and they're not touring around it yet. I don't know. Who knows? Um, but yeah, this is obviously going to be a tourist area over here in the grand scheme of things and I thought adding a few little details like that to the train station uh, would really make it pop so now what to do for this side that is the 
That is the question. Probably not going to do much. See how this, see these little corners here? Again, something that just, I could not get the uh, terraforming to cooperate with. So just kind of using some greenery and just uh, making that um, go away. Of course, it's not really going away, but uh, more or less it's going away. Um, yeah, I, I messed with it for a while and finally got to the point where I was like, you know what, forget, forget all this. Um, not going to mess with it anymore. <clears throat> so again, just adding a few little details to this side of the train station. I figured that, uh, you know, one thing I would do is just when I take a look at all these people. Wow. Holy cow. Wait a minute. What is it going right back in? Hmm. And where y'all going? And they're probably like, geez, this is far away from where I'm trying to get to. Probably add a taxi cab service over here. Um, so anyway, um, yeah. So what I was saying was just you know adding. I'm kind of gonna wait a little bit on doing too much of this side. Um, I'm gonna throw in a little line of some palm trees here, uh, just to kind of make a natural wall, if you will, um, and then you know. The, the, this is a resort area, so there's going to be lots of palm trees, lots of um, people-pleasing type things. Um, and it has easy access to the mall. I mean, you could walk over to the mall from here or whatever. So, geez, here comes more people. Awesome. <laughs> Throwing a little crosswalk. They're going back in. And they're coming back out. I bet you that's because there's not a road on the other side of the station, so they're exiting and then they're realizing, hey, I, I can walk over to where I need to be, and then they're walking over. It's just a lot of people. That's good. That's why we put it in here. Nobody's really paying attention to this. Google Cross while you're running over people. Oh my God, man. Jeez. It's a family of four. love these flashing light crosswalk signs. They look so cool. They also float, so we're going to have to bring them back down a little bit. There we go. Um, yeah, so it looks cool. Yeah, no, there we go. Yeah, it looks really cool. Um, so... Let's see here. Probably another thing is people that don't live right next door need a parking lot of sorts. So, and I'm not going to use the asset parking lot. I'm just going to go ahead and build uh, an actual parking lot. I haven't done one of these in a little while, so let's see how this goes. concentration that I'm going through in this part. Making these type of parking lots is a little bit more time consuming, but they do look, um, I think they look a lot better than most of the asset ones.
So here, instead of throwing in extra parking spaces, I'm just going to use this area for like a little bit of a decoration, throw in some white stripes to uh, caution people from running directly into this curb. And um, that way I don't have to try to put in extra parking spaces and get it looking just right for that uh, corner of this, because that can be a little, a little tough. So uh, there we go, it looks good. And then we'll just throw in a couple little bushes in here and a tree for good measure. Or maybe let's just do like a little round thing of trees. Cool. Um, two. So you use surface painter, we'll get rid of these weird looking cracks. Just kind of do it like that. Do 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 do. Use some concrete decals to kind of get rid of those ends there. Not really worried about this looking, you know, perfect over in this area. This will be far from the action, so to speak. But I do think it's important to have people be able to park here because, you know, if you live down the street a ways, and yeah, I don't have a passenger train station like all the way over next to the farming area of the map, which that's where the trailer park is and some of that stuff. Haven't really posted any videos of that other than the um, Nowhere Land videos. I already got a car driving on the concrete, that's awesome. All right, I like that, looks good. throwing a few extra crosswalk signs um, just copying and pasting using move it here just because we have multiple crosswalks now which is fine we should have multiple crosswalks this is going to be a heavily used area no doubt about it right over here I've got some resort type places already put in place and uh, this is going to look really good I, I like the idea of having it in this cove uh, opens up a lot of possibilities for some things that maybe we couldn't do on just any old uh, beach, uh, just a random beach. So this will be this will be good. So I'm gonna do a little detailing, throwing in some trash cans and things of this nature, and uh, also adding some posts to prevent anything major from happening if a car was to run off the road. Wouldn't want it hitting any of my sims. Um, and uh, Look at that. Dogs? Dogs are taking the train. <laughs> Get off this train! Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Semi truck driver, don't care. Turning off of some of the parking on the road. I don't want cars parking here on it. It's just too many. You know, that's what the parking lot's for, and there's just too much going on. So, um,. excited about this train station. I'm excited that people are using it so much and I really think it's awesome. I just love how you know it's kind of like you can see on the inside of it. It just looks so cool. I don't really know if this is modeled after like a Chinese train station or if this is like in America somewhere. I'm not really sure. But I do know there's there's plenty of people that are uh, are taking it. Just throw a little information booth. People can see, get tickets, something like that. Just kind of scoot it back a little. Um, you kind of see there on the, on the left side how that, uh, yeah, I was just trying to figure out what that was, um, how that uh, terrain's kind of messing with that, uh, but ultimately, 
it's not really fun messing with that all day. I'd much rather be doing things like putting up a Hennessy sign on the entrance here. When you ride the train, drink Hennessy. It's the best booze money can buy. Got another sign. I actually, I got more. Got more alcohol signs. Let's just do. I'm not breaking bad. Here we go. Vodka. Yes, if Hennessy is not, if Hennessy isn't your choice of getting drunk. Try Fal what is it? Fallon Falcon Falcon Ball Vodka. Are you Russian? Try Falcon Ball Vodka. Make a splash. Drink Hennessy, and your signs will be. Nice and even and level. Get a sign down in here somewhere. I wonder about exactly how I can do it. Actually, let me just go inside. Nope. Oh, never mind. Uh, I know what I can do. When you're hungover from Falcon Vodka, you'll need some of our new overpriced caffeinated beverages the next morning. Show your flavor in the toilet. Because you're you know, puking because you're hungover. It's a beautiful thing. That is a beautiful thing. So I need to raise that one up a little. Love it though. Oh man, this is cool. Good way to start my little beach episode. I'm throw in some little walls down here. Use like a little stone wall. Um, I don't want people going off the side of this platform. It looks kind of dangerous. Yeah, that's kind of cool looking. A little bit of an old school old school vibe in the middle of this train station. I like that. Beautiful. Just do the same thing. Boom and boom. when you first, you know, toward the edge of the ceiling here. Maybe the rain hits it a little bit funny. Get some mud down there. detail this on my own time. I won't do it on the video, but I'll probably add some more vegetation to that area. Guys, I think this turned out really good and a good entrance video for my beach resort area. People are going to be coming here in droves. Can't wait for uh, the rest of the series. It's going to be a lot of fun to do. Hope you enjoyed my video. Hit that like button and subscribe or whatever you want to do. Bye.